So um, about four years ago, um, my freshman year in college, just before winter break, I ended up in the ER because I had really horrible stomach pains and I thought I might um, like have pancreatitis or something. Um, turns out I didn't. I just had a pretty serious kidney infection, um, which is very easily treatable. But unfortunately, um, what ended up happening in the ER because I was in a lot of pain and I was scared and they wanted to make sure I wasn't dying, they put me in a big scanner machine and they pumped me full of ink to look at my insides and all this stuff. And um, fortunately, with how our healthcare system works, um, even after insurance, I, as a 19-year-old, was uh, fitted with a 300, 300, excuse me, you know, three thousand dollar, not three hundred thousand, three thousand uh, dollar medical medical bill on the way out, um, which I have been making payments on for four years. Um, the past six months I started making hundred dollar payments on them because I had a job that let me do that and now today um, I just got back from the bank and I deposited um, about nine hundred dollars into my checking account I got it from my um, tax refund um, and at the end of the week I'm getting paid again and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna actually be able to get rid of this bill completely it'll be gone out of my life which is very very exciting after four years of making a phone call every month saying hi yeah I was hoping to make a payment I I'm so tired of doing that I'm so tired of doing that um, so I'm really excited um, a it's gone so that's like an extra hundred dollars I'm gonna be able to use a month to buy like Taco Bell and art supplies and alcohol um, and also it, it's kind of giving me this this weird feeling of, of control um, I, I don't know, like, 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 Ben makes good enough money now that I, I can kind of just do what I want. Like, I, I don't work that much. And, uh, I, I, I feel like taking some real risks. Um, I mean, I'm doing this, and I'm planning on doing stand-up next month. Um, and Johnny, I think you should do the same. I think you should go on the campaign trail, um while you're young and you don't have children and you're not responsible for anyone else because more and more I'm, I'm looking forward and and I I realize that if I don't do things that are important to me now my life is going to shrink and I'm not gonna have as many options and I, I really don't want to live my life wondering and I, and I think it's it's really easy to, to listen to people who, who tell you that that successful people don't really exists that that you're just supposed to put your head down and like and and, and and be a cog and just just do it and I mean I think that's true for most people but I think most people don't try and I want to be a person that tries and Johnny I think you're a person who's trying I think you should do it I think you should not make coffee forever because uh, customer service I like destroys you like, if there isn't something in the Geneva Convention about it, I think there should be because it is cruel and unusual punishment. And I think the way we treat service people in this country is appalling. And I'm very, very thankful that I work in a job where I actually don't see people. I'm just down in the kitchen all day, every day, and it's wonderful. Um, God, I'm just so excited about paying that bill. Um, so, um, also, I mentioned I'm going to do stand-up next week, and I have a few minutes put together, and I wanted to show that to you guys and see what you thought, so I'm going to post another video by the end of this week, and if you guys could comment it and like it and tell me what jokes you thought were funny, that would be amazing. Um, it's a really pretty day in the park. I'm